we are gonna put this on a black shirt. So we wanna knock out all of the black that we have here. And the reason being is this is going to put a lot of natural breaks in our design. So then I'm actually gonna be able to get around rasterizing this. I won't have to use holes or lines. We'll just use those natural breaks. So in order to do this, it's a really, really actually very easy. You're just gonna to go to jobs and then production plugin, and then you're gonna click knock me out black. Okay, there's also the option for knock color, knock me out color, knock me color out. I always get the uh, order of those words mixed up, but we're going to do knock me black out. And what that is going to do is pop up another box. And then it is simply a one or two button click here. And what we're going to see is all of that black will disappear. Okay, so here is what my design is going to uh, look like if it's on a black background and here is what it, it's giving me a preview of what it's going to look like if I knock all the black out. It really looks like a whole bunch of nothing but if you sh have it to um, show the shirt color as black you will see this is what it's actually going to look like once you put it on there. So this is just giving you a preview. Um, transparent is you know how we want it so we'll say okay and then the preview will update over here in the rip and we will then be all ready to send our design uh, to print on our Uninet. I have an iColor 560, so I'm just going to, my last step would be to go down here and to select the type of paper that I'm using. I'm just using two-step, and I would go over here, here's my job, and I'm just going to tell it to print, and then the job will be printed. And then from there, hopefully you know um, what to do as far as how to use the two-step paper. If you don't, I have another video for that that you can check out.